like that again! Where's my daughter, Evelyn Doyle? Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment to see my own daughter. Who are you? I'm Sister Bridget. How you know? <gasps> if you ever lay a finger on my daughter again, I will tear you limb from limb. Now, where is she? In the refectory, on the first floor. Right. Mr. Doyle, you shouldn't be on these premises. I've come for my daughter. I must ask you to leave with me. I'm not leaving without her. You know that is impossible. I'm having my daughter back and you can't stop me. Now, where is she? Mr. Doyle, you cannot just barge in here. There's no bloody laws in this country that's going to keep my daughter away from me. How dare you use language like that in front of me, Mr. Doyle? Don't speak to me like that. I will not have it. Daddy, don't fight, Daddy. Don't fight with Sister Teresa. That means you're going to take it, then. Who is this gobshite? This gobshite is the Minister for Education. He's claiming we require the consent of your wife for the release of your kids. You like my cheeky twinkle then, huh? Because you drink too much. Ah, oh, ridiculous. No, I've got a lot on my mind. Like a trip to Scotland with your kids. What? How do you know about that? Because the tickets fell out of your coat. An adult and three kids. Now, who could that be, I wonder? I knew you were up to something, you big idiot. Don't call me a big idiot. Oh, by the way, Minister, your paintwork's shite. Your testimony. Wouldn't any father have done what I did? Evelyn's face was all battered and bruised. <laughs> Silence in court. Even as a very dubious kind of Catholic, there is absolutely no precedent for it in the religion in which you allegedly believe. Cat, got your tongue, Mr. Doyle? We can all go home soon!